What's good, CBT fam? Before y'all get into the video, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell to get notified every time I upload content. Peace. What's good, YouTube? It is your boy, Big Cool, coming to you from Colossal Boxing Talk. Colossal Boxing Talk is associated with Three Kings Boxing under the movement umbrella, and I am back with another video. I'm here to tell you why Gennady Golovkin should avoid a rematch with Canelo Alvarez and just move on with his career. As you all know, Gennady Golovkin has stated numerous of times on plenty of different occasions that his ultimate goal is to become the undisputed middleweight champion of the world. Last night, he tied the great and all-time great Bernard the Executioner Hopkins middleweight record of 20 consecutive title defenses. Yes, he did it going against a guy that hadn't been in the ring for two years, a guy that was coming up from 154 to 160, you know, a guy that has lost a lot of his big fights. But still, Vanis Monterosian, on a good day, where he's fighting consistently, is a credible opponent. Maybe not last night, but overall. But that's neither here nor there. Before this fight even got finalized, you had Luda Bimbella, the promoter of Sergei Dervachenko, try to get his fighter the shot at Gennady Golovkin, who is the IBF middleweight champion. Dervachenko is the mandatory. The IBF said, you know what? We're not going to strip Golovkin of his title. Good for them. But we will make an exemption that you have to face Dervachenko by August 3rd or have a deal in place. Now, with that, that puts Gennady Golovkin in a tough spot, especially with the Canelo Alvarez rematch still looming, hanging over his head, because we all know that Gennady Golovkin wants to get paid, and he lost a lot of fucking money when Canelo Alvarez withdrew from their fight due to failing two tests for the ban uh, substance of clenbuterol. So now, Golovkin is angry. He wants nothing more than to get his hands on fucking um, Canelo Alvarez. He want to fuck him up like he fucked up Vanis Monterosian. He's motivated. He has a chip on his shoulder. He feels anyway that he won the first fight and that he was robbed of a right for victory. But now, he's in a dilemma. Because the IBF, like I just said, said that he has to, have, has to fight Sergei Dervachenko before August 3rd. Or have a deal in place. You know the IBF don't fucking play. But that's putting his undisputed, you know, chances in stake. Now, if he decides to go with Canelo Alvarez, and if the IBF are who we think they are, they're going to strip him of their title. You can't be undisputed. If you ain't got all four titles in the Ring Magazine title. You can't. You simply can't. Now. I say. Avoid Canelo Alvarez. Oh, nah, nah, nah. Bad choice of words. Big cool. Bad choice of words. I say. Ignore. And make Canelo Alvarez wait. While you chase. Billy Joe Saunders. The one guy left. For you to defeat to be crowned the undisputed middleweight champion of the world. Your number one goal, what you've been stating for the longest, three, four, five years now. Billy Joe Saunders has stated that he's interested in a fight with you. His promoter, Frank Warren, has stated the same thing, that they're looking for a fall fight with you or autumn fight, however they want to care to categorize it. It's a fall fight. Now, y'all all know, if you watch this channel, you watch my videos, I always say the same thing when it comes to unification bouts. Unification bouts should trump mandatories. No ifs, ands, buts about it. And if Gennady Golovkin and Billy Joe Saunders come to an agreement, the IBF, the WBC, the WBA, whoever else shouldn't stand in the way. They should give those two fighters their blessing and allow them to fight. Because these guys want to be undisputed. They want to be the crown, the face of the middleweight division. And you can't do that until you beat one or the other. Now, 
it sucks for Sergei Devrichenko to have to wait, but it is what it is. You're not a champion. You don't have any say so. Undisputed unification bouts should take precedent over mandatories. Simple as that. And that's why I think Gennady Golovkin needs to bypass Canelo Alvarez for right now and turn his focus solely on Billy Joe Saunders, who is going to be facing uh, my boy. I always forget my man's name. You know, uh, Gennady Golovkin whooped him, you know what I'm saying, uh, for like 11 fucking rounds. Y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about. He facing him before he was supposed to be happy, but Billy Joe Saunders took an L. Um, and, you know, the fight has been pushed back. So if B Billy Joe Saunders wins his fight, he should, you know, be able to get that shot at Gennady Golovkin and vice versa. It ain't no need for all that other shit, no interim bouts, no none of that other bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Make the shit happen with um, Billy Joe Saunders. Attempt to become the undisputed middleweight champion of the world. And then set your set sights on Canelo Alvarez. You can give up the fucking titles then. You know what I'm saying? Unless you want to make that fight even bigger. You know? You go in there undisputed. That increases your money. You know what I'm saying? That increases your money. That's a fact. It's Martin Murray. My boy Martin Murray. They spoke, they're supposed to fight. Uh, they fight in June 23rd. Uh, Murray and, and, and Saunders. And a fight that Saunders should easily win. Probably stop him. But like I said, you know, that's what I would do if I'm Triple G. I say, fuck Canelo for right now. I'm going to chase my ultimate goal, my ultimate dream. The thing I set out to do when I turn professional and become an undisputed middleweight champion. And then you can let the rest, settle the rest after the fact. You can give up your IBF title or you can fucking, you know, face Canelo Alvarez. And if the IBF lets you keep it. Do it. Defend your titles. And Canelo have an opportunity to become the undisputed. But Canelo fucked it up when he took Canelo Bluter on. That's his fault. You don't reward him. He's going to make his money regardless. He's the cash cow in boxing. He's the face of boxing now. So he's going to make his money regardless whether he fights Gennady Golovkin, Spike O'Sullivan, uh, Willie Monroe, Jamal, Jamel, Charlo, Demetrius Andre, whoever it may be. He's going to make his guaranteed money. He's going to make his money. He has a country backing him. You know what I'm saying? And they're going to pay for his pay-per-views. And HBO going to dish out that money. So, don't worry about Canelo. Don't worry about Sergey Dervachenko. Worry about Billy Joe Saunders. And I think that, you know, you can get your goal accomplished. If you like this video, go ahead and do what I told you to do in the beginning. Head over to Facebook. Smack that like button on the Colossal Boxing Talk Facebook page. Then head over to Twitter. Follow me there uh, at Colossal CBT. Drop a comment in the comment section below. Shout out to everybody in the movement that's moving with us. Be sure to subscribe to 3 kingsboxingcom for your latest and greatest unfiltered and unbiased boxing news reported the way it should be. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.